Hi everyone, my name is Jean-Christophe Schuna. In this beginner Python tutorial, we will learn about Python data types. This will be a short but very important tutorial to understand because in computer programming, everything has to be very well defined. Uh, a data type, it, this is the classification we give to a value of a variable. So in the beginning of programming, like with programming languages such as C, you had to define everything very carefully. You had to say that a string is a string, an integer is an integer, etc. In Python, it became a lot easier to do. So we have some basic types that we can use and we need to understand. So we will cover these kind of text and numeric and sequence data types that we can see. We'll show what they are uh, how to define them, uh, and, and let's get started. So if you want to show the data, the type of a variable, then you just have to define your variable such as x equal 1, and then you use the type method. Then you call the variable, and you will learn that your variable is an integer. A data type is automatically assigned depending on the way you assign it. So if you have x equals string, then you can call type equals string, uh, type equal x, and it will return a string. However, if you have a number here instead that is uh, set up as a string, then you can define, uh, when you type type, it will be a string, but you can define it by using a constructor method such as int, and then it converts that to int. So to, in order to define numeric value, all you have to do is you can do x and you put a number without the, the, the quotes. And if you want to define a float, then you have the, the dot notation. So x type and type y, then we show that the first one is an integer and the second one is a float. In order to define a tuple, you need to use the, uh, the parentheses. So you can have one, two, three value. You can have two values only. You can have, uh, for instance, you can have four values or how many values you want in your tuple. And when you type this, that's a tuple. A list, you use a square bracket notation. So in order to have a list, you need to put a lot of value within your square brackets. And then if you call type again, you'll see that your x is a list. A dictionary, this allows you to assign uh, 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 values together, like to, to, to put values together. So you use this curly brackets and you can say a equal one, you can say b equal uh, two, not equal, but column two, and this will become a dictionary. Uh, so you can assign the value to uh, a key and a value together. You can assign, create a, a Boolean so you can assign a boolean to a to a boolean data type to a variable. So if we type type x, we can see it's a boolean. A boolean is whenever it's true or false. When we cast the data type. So if we want to change the data type, you can use for instance I have an integer right now. If I want it to be a float, I use the float method such as right now. So you can see that there is the 10.0, it shows the, 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 the dot notation of a float. If we want to convert a variable or values to a list, then we can use the list method. So if we have a tuple right here and we want to convert that tuple to a list instead, we could use the list method and we would automatically cast the, the tuple to a list. A list can contain a lot of values. So if we want to convert this to a set, we can create our list with a lot of duplicate values, such as right now, like four, 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 four. Uh, and then if we want to convert this to a non-duplicative set, then we can use a set method. And we can uh, pass the list in and we will cast the list as a set. And we'll see that we'll have only non-duplicative values from the set. If we want to create a dictionary, for instance, we can use a dict method. And in order to do the dict, we can say dict x equal one, 
y equal to, and this will create a dictionary for us. So what we've just seen are called construction functions. Uh, there are a few that you can play around with. Uh, we forgot to look at the range constructor function, so we can come back to the range constructor to see what it does. So we can say range 10, and then we have a range from 0 to 10. If we want to convert that to a list, we can use the list constructor and say list range, and then we have a range from 0 to, to 10. Uh, so, so this was a short tutorial, and I have a Python course coming up. I will paste the link in the comment if you want to look at it. Uh, and thank you very much. See you next time.